Uh, we're just waiting for people a bit. and then your world. But that's how we do when people arrive and yeah. they're going to start to so yeah. for now it's just me that's yeah, the interest of ourselves yeah, let's all do that girls imagine if everyone yeah. who joined in tonight or listens to this does this it'll be it'll make the biggest difference but and to be honest yeah, you I'm, just want to say I something and i was giving it's them great. out and and I know it was the greatest blessing for the people I was giving it to, but to be honest, it was a bigger blessing for me to be giving it. And so it's almost yeah. like a bit more blessed to give than you are to receive. And so let's all be um, doing that and making our world an even better place. In Jesus' name. And lastly, but not least, we're going to jump over to Tanya. And we always honour girls and our sister more than we If we were together in the room, we obviously honour all of you and grateful for every single one of you. And, um, really on bye bye. And bye. positioning your heart for strength mm. and positioning your life for what As they do. Um, you girls are amazing. We honor each one of you. But we've got a few girls tonight that we're going to honor. So over to you. Um, yes. Welcome, beautiful girl. As we well see, this will be actually each one of you thank you for joining us for those of you that have been on the journey for a while for those of you i've just seen someone in the chat that said it's her first the sign of the honor you welcome hey, to the studio. but i have the honor of um, hi, introducing Peño. you but also getting to celebrate with uh, you um, hi, 24 Peño. women that are from our in-person manifestations that basically they shine a light in their world and they impact yeah, the well, local community there's going to be a photo with all of their faces coming on the yeah. screen, but I'm also going to um, read out their names plus their location. So if you recognize their face, or if you are from their location, like if I'm saying a uh, Durban Bowl and you also attend Durban Bowl, you're going to shout out in the chat for them and cheer them on. So the first amazing woman we're going to honor is Kendi Shabalala from our Brown to Pen location. Drum roll in the chat. And then we're also going to honor Lulu Nisi from Bryanston. And then the amazing Cape Ball from our Cape Town City location. And then we have Lestadi Lentoba from Centurion. From Kanya Max from Century City, we love you, Ball. And then we have Durban location. Hello, Durban. It's Shia Governor. Hey, Peño. Oh, nice hairstyle. I see you look different. How are you doing, buddy? You are muted. Um, I'm doing very well. I want to switch on. Hey, Komato. Uh, 
Amen. Well Amen. done, team. That was 24 names. You did very well. That is amazing. I'm being honored. I was still waiting for more people. Yes, um, um, absolutely. So grateful for you. And yeah. Really as long as uh, Peña is ready. To shine its light we are. Peña, um, we are yours when you're ready. Well, girls, are you ready for the word of God? Are you ready? <laughs> you know, a year or so ago, I had the privilege of going mm. over to Shoreline City Church in Dallas, Texas, and I met this most incredible woman. Her name is Anika McClellan. And many of you may have heard her husband. Oh, yes, I am ready. Um, can I please you? I've been talking a lot. <laughs> can I please have a uh, present? Um, All right, then. Uh, maybe introduce yes. you. Um, I see there's Mathati and there's Kumoto. Uh, welcome, everybody. Yeah. Uh, my name is Blue, and this is Versatile, and this is Abiella. And Peño is going to be presenting to us tonight. All right, then, over to you, Peño. um excellent all right hi guys hope you are doing well um by the grace of god amen and we thank god for his presence tonight thank you for making an effort to come here um and join us for our um bible study amen and it's gonna be awesome we thank the lord for today's session amen as we'll be talking about um the faith of god amen so i don't know can anyone pray for us and thank god for today's sharing amen shall we pray holy spirit we yes thank you for being in the presence of us and never leaving us we thank you lord jesus for dying for us on the cross and your blood cleansing us we thank you father for such a great sacrifice and giving us life lord we thank you for all that you're doing in this season we ask that Holy Spirit, you may continue for the God to do so tonight as we meet in the word of God. Father God, empower Peño to deliver the word from God. So Lord, we may hear what you have to say in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise be unto God. Thank you, brother. Um, yes. Can you please speak now if you can hear me yes. now clearly? Yes. Um, I just want to make sure that um, you all can hear me. Maybe just say hi or type something. Since I'm using <laughs> two things here at the same time. Can you signal maybe with a hi? Oh, so I can see that. Hi. I can hear you. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Um, right. Glory to Jesus. Hope you are well. Amen. Hope you had a great time, um, you know, here at home and under lockdown as well as we are back to lockdown for all the glory to Jesus above everything. Amen. He is still good and he is forever good for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Above all things, the Bible says all things work together for good for those who are in Christ Jesus, those who walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. Amen. Praise be unto God. So today I would like um, to challenge you guys. Amen. The Holy Spirit would like to challenge us about the topic of faith. Amen. As it's something that we need to um, understand. It's a basic necessity to understand about the faith part because we believe in faith. Amen. We are born again in faith. Um, we have salvation in faith. We are under grace by faith. Amen. It's all about faith. That's why the Bible says, without faith, you cannot please God. Amen. And faith comes by hearing the word of God. Amen. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So one thing with faith coming by um, hearing the word of God, it's very important as well to hear the word of God. And when you share the word of God, you share um, the uncompromised Rema word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mostly, um, you know, we talk about grace and then we talk about different kinds of doctrine. But one thing is um, we are not destined for doctrine. Amen. We are destined for the reality. And that reality is Christ himself. Amen. The reality is Christ himself. So, right, let's go. Um, Matthew 8, 
I would like us to open our Bibles um, in the book of Matthew chapter 8. Amen. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. Amen. I love the verse. It's one of, um, to be honest, it's one of my favorite verses that I enjoy very, very much. Amen. Um, verse 8. It says, the centurion answered and said, I'm not worthy um, that you should, um, I just want to, I'm not worthy that you should come under my hoof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Only do what, only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Amen. Um, I would like us to read that again. It's a very powerful and there is something here that's awesome. There is a truth. Amen. Like I said, we are not destined for the doctrine, but we are destined for the reality. And that reality, it's Christ himself. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my door. Yes. Even, you know, one thing with regards to our salvation, his righteousness is from God. It's not from our works or us trying to be like him or maybe trying to live salvation. Yes. It's not about living salvation. It's about believing in salvation. Amen. Christ himself. Hallelujah. So one thing is, we are sinners. Amen. The Bible says all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But through his righteousness, we are righteous that we got, we attained as a gift. Yes. yes. And it says, but only speak away it. On. But only speak away it. I'm not worthy, but only speak away it. Meaning it's not about my worthiness to get, um, you know, revival or to get breakthrough in this particular um, incident, but it's all about your word. Can you see that, friends? Amen. Can you see that, family? He starts, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but yeah. only speak away. Meaning it's all about you who will determine my standing, yeah. you who will determine my status after. Yeah. Amen. You who will determine who I am. You who will change my life. I'm not worthy, yes, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Now there is faith there. The, the type of faith God is um, referring here is the faith of belief where you, you, you believe. Amen. It's like having faith. In other words, um, it's having faith, it has to do with, the Bible says, um, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's the definition for faith. Where you have it, but yet you cannot see it. There is evidence that, um, evidence that it exists, but you cannot see it with your naked eye. That's faith. He had faith. The way there is only Speak away. The Bible says faith comes by hearing the word. So in the word of God, there is faith. When you prophesy the word of God, there is faith. Hallelujah. And my servant will be healed. The Bible says by his stripes, you are healed. And one thing as we go on in the book of the very same chapter of Matthew, chapter 8, that's when he spoke life. Yeah. They began to be healed. Those who were possessed were freed. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Yes. Those who were sick, they were healed yeah. by speaking the way. Some he touched yeah. them, yes, but some he spoke. He said, but only speak away and my servant will be healed. And one thing about this in the very same chapter, um, eight, that's the first part of the New Testament where the word faith comes in this particular story. Amen. And then let's go to the second verse. Verse um, I think we did verse seven years, verse eight. The mm. centurion answered and mm. said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Amen. Only speak a word and my servant will be healed. And then um, before that, um, I want us to go to verse um, five. Okay. Right, verse 5. Now, when Jesus has entered Capitan, a centurion man came to him, pleading with him, 
saying, verse 6, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed and dreadful, tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. I will come and heal him. And then after that, verse 8, that's when he says, only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Speaking out of faith. Why out of faith? Because he knows the word of God. It's faith on his own. Amen. And then it says, um, verse um, 9, um, and 10, it says for nine, I will also, or oh, for I also am a man under authority, for I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. Verse 10, when Jesus had it, he marveled and said, yes to those who followed. Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith. I have not found such great faith. <laughs> faith there, the word faith there, it means conviction of the truth. Not even yeah. in Israel. And that's our last part. Um, I have not found such great faith. How good is that? So one thing, when he says Jesus had it, um, he marveled. It speaks about the whole conversation, um, the way, um, the reply of this man from Kebenda, where after Jesus said, okay, I will come and heal your servant. When he said, Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. And then after when he said, um, I, I myself, I'm not worthy for you to come, only speak a word and he will be healed. Now the word of God, it heals. The word of God is faith himself, amen. For you to amen. be healed, it's not about what you do, your worthiness. For you to believe for something, to attain something, it's not about your performance, your worthiness. In the church yeah. and in the life of Christ, it's not about that, it's about the word of God. Amen. What is God saying? Not what people are saying, Amen. Mm -hmm. What is God saying? What is his word saying? And then here he yeah. says, Jesus marveled. And now he referred to this man's faith as such great faith, such great conviction of the truth. Why mm -hmm. such great conviction of the truth? Because that's where our pillar is. That's where um, salvation is. That's where our hope is. In his word, which is faith. So by prophesying the word of God, that's where you have great faith. When the Bible says, um, by his stripes you are healed, for example, that's great faith, people. That's why the Bible talks about faith of a mustard seed. It's not about your belief or your worthiness towards something. It's all about the word of God, being faith. Amen. It's all about the faith of God. Amen. One thing about the faith of God, I want to show you this verse in the book of Genesis 1. It says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. Come and on, God come said on. The light, that it was good. And God mm -hmm. divided the light from the darkness. Amen. And God said, let there be light. He spoke the word. He spoke the word. And there was light. That's great faith. The very same faith that Jesus is talking about here in this particular story in the book of Matthew. And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. It happened. Whatever God speaks, it happened and it continues. Jesus, um, I mean, God himself on the throne, he said, in creation, the triune God said, um, be fruitful and multiply, even to the plants, even to the bears of the air, even to the beasts of the field. Be fruitful and multiply. And one thing, that blessing continues. That's why in the book of Numbers 23, it says, when God has blessed, whatever God has blessed, no one can curse. Because it's the faith of God. Meaning with faith, that's an un Shakeable faith, where when you have the faith of God, you're, it's unshakable. No matter how you felt, no matter what you're going through, it never changed. No matter what you do, no matter what is happening in your life or things that are happening to you, it never changed. 
his blessing continues to spread. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like living in the reality of faith. For example, um, you can have a great belief that let's say you are in a skyscraper in the 14th floor that you will fly when you jump off the window or off the balcony. You won't fly. You will drop down, right? Because that's the reality where you are living. It doesn't matter according to your belief. That's where you are. Now, with the faith of God, his word is unchangeable. His word is reality. That's why it says such a great faith, such a great conviction of the truth. The truth is the reality, not the doctrine. Like I said, we are not destined for doctrine, but we are destined for the reality, the content of the doctrine. Amen. So it's all about his word being unchangeable. When you prophesy his word, when you when I mean prophesy, it's speaking it out, confessing, like every single day where you, you, you confess the word of God. Amen. And Lord, thank you for this. Lord, you are holy. Lord, I'm blessed going out and blessed come back. I'm blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Amen. By your stripes, I'm healed. Psalm 91, I'll see a thousand fall at my side. 10,000 in my right hand, but nothing shall come near me. You are prophesying the word of God. And as you prophesy the word of God, you have faith. That's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing the word of God. When you read it, you are hearing it. When you read it, it aloud, you are hearing it. When it's being preached to you, you are still hearing it. Yeah. And, and it gets into you, into your mind, into your soul. You have faith. Amen. So that's why it's not about your belief. It's all about the reality that you are living in. At the end, if you get off that 25th floor or 14th floor, you will go down. You won't fly unless if maybe you created a, a certain machine that can make you fly, but you won't fly. You'll drop down. All right? That's the reality where we are living in. But one thing with Christ, this example, I brought it to show you guys that in the reality of salvation, it's not about your faith or your belief, in other words, or your hope. It's about the hope that is in Jesus. It's about the faith of God, about your life. Amen. That's why it's important to share. That's why the Bible says, without faith, you cannot please God. What does it mean? Without conviction of the truth, you cannot please him. Without you knowing that it's not about you, but it's about him, it's about his word, not your word. You cannot please God. Why can you please God? Because his word is faith. And he is the word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And that word is faith. Amen. And it brings faith as well. He's the full package. Hallelujah. That's why, that's where grace comes in. Grace comes where, where it's all about him supplying. Amen. And you receiving, that's faith. Amen. It's not about you trying to have, to have a big um, mindset of things happening. It's all about his reality happening in the now. Well, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'd like to conclude um, right now that it's all about, I want us to go back to that verse again. Um, firstly, um, at least if I spoke a lot of things, please remember these two things. Verse 8, can you see it there? But only speak away, my servant will be held. The word. Amen. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak away and my servant will be healed. And then the second one I'd like you to remember, it's verse 10, when he says, surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith. Amen. Not even in Israel. The way, his way is faith. That's why by hearing his word, it builds your faith. Meaning, what is this faith about? The Christ in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The word of God builds the Christ in you as faith is Christ. Amen. He's the full package. So that's where faith is. Not about your own mindset, trying to do imaginable things or something that's out of this world. 
It's about the small faith of the master. See, his word, that small verse of um, um, Psalm 121. Yes, I look to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help doesn't come from the mountain, but it comes from the maker of the mountains. That's faith. You know that your help will never go, um, will never come from anywhere but from God. That's faith, and He will supply. Amen. As He has supplied already and is continuously supplying. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much, um, guys. We can have a discussion on this topic, Amen, about faith. I know it's a bit, um, it's huge, it's broad, Amen. It's meat, Amen, and it's something that. It's sort of like before it was a bit veiled, amen, in a sense where, but Christ today, tonight, he wants to unveil it for us to see about his faith, amen, in his word, amen, hallelujah. Praise be unto God. We can have a discussion, questions, additions, amen, praise be unto God, Lord. Thank you, Brother Blue. Since I'm the one facilitating, I'm going to open the floor to everyone. Praise be unto God, Lord. And anyone can just jump in. Amen. Peño, Peño, my brother, it's wow, wow. Uh, faith of God. Well, you took this topic to a whole new level. Uh, I didn't see that uh, coming this way. You just brought something and um, you just brought Jesus. You know, whenever Jesus speak, uh, we, we ought to pay attention because it's not a man that is speaking, but it is Jesus. It is the son of God, the only son of God. And it is, he is the word. Mm -hmm. So a word has no essence, essence without Jesus. For a word to, to come to life, we need a, uh, Jesus. And when we pray for people who are sick, we pray in the name of Jesus. You know, and by the mentioning of the name of Jesus, every knee bows. So as, as you're sharing this word, for me, uh, I was stuck on verse 13 and some other, I'm going to stick on verse 13 of chapter 8 of Matthew. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done, just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. Yeah. You know, so for me, as Peña was saying, that when he spoke, and he went back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 3 to 5, where he said, and God said, let, you know, and then for me, I see Jesus doing the same thing he was doing in Genesis when he says, let it be done. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it just together with what Peña yeah. was just saying just now when he says that um, we are not praying to the mountain, mm -hmm. but we are praying to the God of the mountain. Yeah. So a mountain bows because it bows to its creator, you know, and it makes... Uh, the the word that says uh, yeah. by the by the power of God a mountain can lay flat yeah. it can be a highway <laughs> by the power of God nothing is impossible so when I look at what you were just saying my brother you just put on the faith of God so we literally are not given the same measure of faith but we are given the same Jesus. It's the same Jesus that was there in the time of Elijah. It's still the same Jesus that is here today. So all we need to do is to have the faith of God, is to believe in his power. You know, because I know as a human being, it's very hard to let go of myself. That's why the Bible specifies, I think it's Paul who said that we have to die in flesh so that Christ may live in us. Amen. So what it necessarily says, what it means is that we have our own uh, way of thinking and our way of belief system, if we can do it, has to die so that we believe that 
Christ in me, mm -hmm. the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. He is the one who is able yeah. to do. Yeah. You know, he is able to, to manifest those fruits of a spirit I cannot do in my own human power. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just going to leave it there for others also to, to comment um, uh, on this topic. Wow, man. It's, uh, I'm really encouraged. I'm really encouraged. I literally went uh, to go and look for my for my own Bible, a non Lord sharing Bible, <laughs> just to read more of the scriptures. You see, I highlighted most. It's my favorite verse. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, man. Let me just allow others also to share if they wish. Um, amen. Thanks, Brother Blue. Yes, um, anyone can just jump in as well. Praise the Lord. Okay, um, okay, I will just choose it randomly, Holy Spirit willing. All right, um, Sister Makiazi, I don't know if you're a brother or sister, maybe you can introduce yourself as well. Let's hear what did the Holy Spirit say during the sharing? Amen. Okay, I think he or he is not here. Um, okay, let's go with um, Sheza Di Theo Tech. How are you? Um, just introduce yourself quickly and just um, let's hear what we have in store for us. Let's Hi. Hi. Yes, yes. Uh, my brother, I'm not sure whether they're having uh, technical issues, but um, um, I, 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 I don't mind uh, jumping on someone else, maybe uh, stop, stop us. This time, do you have any thoughts on, on this topic? Uh, yeah, sure, always. I mean, just to really emphasize, you know, on, on what you both touched on, you know, this topic of faith, it, it goes way deep. Because again, each and every one of us, you know, has some sort of experience, you know, if we've somehow gone through or had um, to eventually practice our faith, we had to see um, the hand of God, either in the workplace or whatever the case may be, you know. So just the way that um, Peño has presented it today, for me, it's more of like a web, wake up call, more of a reminder, you know, to just alert us again, to remember who, who God is basically and, and what it means now to, to put your faith or to have this faith of God, you know, just going back to the, to the scriptures he shared and also just tying it up with, with you know, the reality of things, you know? As, as, as to like um, what you see and, and like um, he gave a perfect example about gravity, you know, and for me, I couldn't help it, but to just um, think back to the, to the, um, to the <laughs> book of, oh, sorry, sorry, baby, where they were talking about, you know, um, I think it was, it was, um, uh, uh, those, those three boys who jumped in the fire. Michelle, uh, yes. uh, exactly. You know, because I mean, the reality is, once they jump in the fire, they would burn and and die. But you know, because God, you know, because of who He is and then the power of God, you know, they stood there and they were untouched. There was no smoke and nothing whatsoever. And you know, that for me is just like a whole nother level. And I love that it's not about like um. It's not about what we see. It's not about, you know, um, what, what we perceive in terms of, of the physics of things and, and the reality of things per se. But once God says a word, you know, and his word remains, you know, and, and just as it was back in those days, so it is even at this day. And for us to just remember that basically 
and apply that knowledge in our everyday life and just to um, trust in who God says he is. You know, we can just see his love and, and his, his promises unfold, you know, in, in your studies, in your workplace, in your relationships, in whatever situation you find yourself in, God is able to work through it. God is able to work through you, in fact, you know, either to impact in other people's lives or to just do something miraculous. So something that is just, you know, um, there's just no way it's evident that this has to be God. This is the hand writing or the, the footprint of God. It's just so evident you can't deny it, you know. And once you see that, it's amazing. And, you know, it happens to me almost every time where when I look back and I'm just so overwhelmed by not only the love of God, but just his presence, basically, you know, just to know that, oh my gosh, God is here. God has done this for me. Just that alone, you know, it, it just mind blowing, you know. I think uh, for, for Tim, so if we'd like to um, log on again once it's gonna kick us out. I think <laughs> so we either wrap up or we're gonna join again, depending on on um, whether there's anyone else who's willing to share. Amen. Yeah, thank you so much, Sister Vasitawa. Well, awesome. Praise the Lord. That's true. Um, okay, let's quickly um see. Um Brother Sichaba, the Makudis, um, anything from your side? Or Sister Komoso, oh, Sister Komoso, something. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, hey, greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, thanks very much for this topic. And um, thanks everybody who has um, also shared. I feel like also I had to confirm a few things. I had to confirm, I mean, how truthful this topic is um, by just focusing on, on, on the word faith and how without it, it's impossible to please God and therefore being a, a, a very important thing to have. Also reminding myself in that story that you shared that the centurion related how he wants or how he understands Christ to be to what he does in his day-to-day -day life, you know? And, and, and his conviction or his understanding of superiority which came from him, um, you know, likening Jesus. I, I'm sure the centurion, um, you know, followed the teachings and he knew everything about the teachings, about respecting the, you know, the, the authority that you are serving under. Um, That's right. And, and, and he, 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 he was able to utilize the simple day-to-day -day thing that he does to demonstrate, you know, um, the faith he had in the power of, who Christ says he was. And as a result, uh, I think it pleased God, you know, it pleased Jesus. He, the, the Bible says he marveled, um, which means he's astonished. He's like, wow, you know, um, I didn't find this, not even in Israel. So that was a verse confirming itself for me, how, how, how without faith, it's impossible to please God. And, and don't look far, look within. Um, look within how you do your day to day, um, how you treat others, how you expect to be treated, how you uh, execute whatever that is being given to you to execute, and and know that every power that you 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 command, um, as long as you command as though you were serving Christ, um, you 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 definitely are, are, are pleasing pleasing to God. But um, I don't want to also stop there. There was there was the other part. Um, which was shared, where we 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 had that he 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 said not even in Israel did I find such faith, and and when you look at Israel being the favorite you know um, place or nation chosen nation of God, but the centurion whom I would believe or or, or like to think was was Jewish, um, I would say not even where, where his own town or people in his own town could please God, but with, with, with not, he has not seen any faith in the world, not even in Israel. The depth of that verse um, pointing to um, 
the journey Christ has walked and has experienced, he has not seen such magnitude of faith. But when we look at it, um, it's, it comes down to this, that he had not yet seen the fulfillment, the true risen Christ, whom me and you today are able to praise and, and see the fulfillment of that power. That was just the person of Christ in that time. But he had the revelation through the spirit that he doesn't even need to come to my house, but he can send his word. And that was that can only be shown by the spirit to see, to foresee the power of God being active in your life. It is not something that you are able to see and see for yourself. So it, I just want to also close by saying, thanks, Mr. Ping. I just want to close by saying um, there's in the many, many, many um, um, blessings or blessed that Jesus said, he said, uh, blessed are the meek uh, because of um, they will inherit the earth. But when it comes to those who believe, he says they will, theirs is the kingdom of God because they believe without seeing. And therefore, yes, they will inherit the kingdom of God. You cannot access the kingdom of God without faith. And that faith can only be if you believe. So blessed are those who believe without seeing for theirs is the kingdom of God. And I, I just want to close there that it's very important to have that kind of faith as the centurion. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Peño, uh, let's maybe pray and, and, and wrap up, my brother. You lead us in prayer. Um, okay, no problem. Um, right, we can close our eyes and yeah, pray. For Lord, we thank you for tonight's show and for we give you praise, we give you glory. There is none else like you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In our homes, Lord, in this level for lockdown, Lord, we glorify your name, Lord Jesus. There's no one else like you in everything we do. Lord, may you enlarge our territories, Holy Spirit. Lord, may you speak into our hearts you wait every single day, your Rima, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Father, Lord, for helping us together like this online. Lord, in your way, Holy Spirit, Father, you said, in, if two or more are gathered in your name, you're there. And thank you, Father, for your protection against COVID-19, for your protection against anything, Father, that's not of your kingdom. Lord, we glorify your name. There's sounds like you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, okay, uh, maybe let's lose the slides. Amen, let's amen, amen. Good. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining us so tonight. Um, I couldn't see everybody's faces, but please.